And let's see what we've got here. Friday nights here uh, doesn't seem to be a hot time to play some competitive matches, but oh, we get to see top deck. So if this is the top deck, then we might have a fun match here. No, I'm getting confused. Getting mixed up with the top cut. But let's check this guy out. 181 wins, a lot of cards, so he's definitely got everything he could want here. I should have laid that Tynemo in case I get donked. We'll just pray for a first. We got it. Now we'll... So I'm already going to guess Kiram, Kobolion really want a collector and I got it so I'm pretty happy with my start here first things first we need to count the eels in our deck and we have three electrics I always seem to have one prize so I'm glad I run four. Oh, although I have a Tynemo prized as well um, we don't have any weakness or resistant type advantages. So I'm comfortable. I'll grab one of each and see what happens. So we'll lay down a Tynemo, a Tynemo, a Thunderous. We'll free retreat, which is why I like this Tynemo over the 40 HP. And we are just going to go ahead and charge. So let's see if he's running Electrode, if this is all steel. I'm kind of just assuming that it's going to be Kiram Electrode. Dual Ball wasn't what I was expecting, but lucky on the two heads. Alrighty, so he's going to go the Don Fan route, which is smart. Um, because I'm going to have a lot of lightning Pokemon. So, already I know I'm in for a tough, long game. Catcher Donphan is going to destroy my deck. Not that concerned about the end here. So, yeah... I think we're going to Juniper. We have to Juniper. We have to get our electrics set up. I'm going to want to take out his fan piece. That's the only way I'm going to win this game. So I'm going to have to Juniper and catch her. There's just no way around it. I have to have... I have to take out the fan pee. So he is going to start pow powering up Glaciate. So here's phase one, and all I really want in this game now is Tornadus. Kind of depends on if we get the, the Outrage Kiram out of here, so let's go for a catcher. And first card is a catcher, which is wonderful. Wow. Ugh. Man, that's, that's a lot of catcher. So... I don't have a Tornadus to fall back to, which is definitely unfortunate. All I've got is a Zekrom, which may be a decent play here. I've got the switch in my hand, so I won't... So we'll catch her up. Give her to that Don fan threat, it's the only way we have a shot at this. Fifty, sixty, uh, lightning resistance. Didn't think of that. So let's see if he catches. A lot of N.
Well, Tornadus is going to be uh, the lifeblood of our saving this match. So he is going to knock me out with Earthquake, which will also, in theory, help fire up his Outrage. Unfortunately, I don't play Fire Pokemon. So we'll send up the Free Retreater. So what do we have to do to take out this Don Fan? We're gonna have to do 80 damage. We're gonna have to do more than 80 damage. He's got 60 HP. I'm gonna have to do 100 damage to this Don Fan in order to take it out. Although, I could... Now I don't have a double colorless, so I'm not gonna be able to get Tornadus fired up. I think we are just gonna... We are just going to Zekrom this thing. I think it is our only hope. We still have a Juniper, but I don't really want a Juniper this many things away. But this isn't a terribly strong hand. So I've got... Another Tornadus. So Tornadus is going to come down. Don't need the plus power. That's just going to hurt me. We'll just go ahead and Juniper. Our only shot at winning is getting rid of that Don fan and make sure we don't get another one. So we got our second Tornadus. However, we did not get Pokemon communication or... Yeah. Well... This is a pretty easy decision. We are just going to Bolt Strike. So... Alrighty. So now I want that Catcher back. Because, and he end me again. And I might have to end to get a catcher. Because I'm ready to take this thing out. It's in perfect position. And that, of course, is annoying. But we do have a switch. So, we need to switch desperately here. So we are going to have to end for it. And, yeah. So I just undid his eek. <clears throat> Didn't get the switch, but I got the double colorless. Which is almost as good. So what we're going to be able to do is in fact retreat him this turn. And I think we are just going to outrage. I think that's all we can do. Do I have a switch? I did not use it yet. We run two switches. So, and we've already seen one of them. But we are going to get rid of you, Cliffa. Actually, we've run... This is a gamble. We could catch her and take out the biggest threat in the game. I think that's what we're going to do. We're really going to set him back here. So I'm going to catch her. I'm going to take out the threat. So I'm going to leave him with nothing but a Cleffa and a Koba Lion with no energy and 10 damage. So 
so he should be catching to stall again. That would be the best play. I... Ugh. We got another fan fee. <clears throat> we do play Lost Remover. So let's see if we can top deck a Juniper. Well, we top deck a Catcher. Which is going to be incredibly annoying for him. This only requires one energy, and we don't have to outrage. Let's do some math. So I'm gonna do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. We're gonna take the cheap prizes. And we're gonna self power here to help us with the catcher problem. And I'm going to outrage for the knockout. So he needs to take care of... I don't know what he needs to do. He needs to keep eking. Alrighty, so... That effectively puts him at 140 hit points. We do run Lost Remover. So he's going to knock me out. So I'm going to put up Tynamo, free retreat, and eh, we're going to, just in case something happens, um, so we're going to Juniper, no question about it. Don't really need this energy. I've got three in the discard. I need my free retreat because that's going to make electric a huge problem. So uh, let's see if we can't get another Zekrom fired up. <clears throat> and we whiffed on basic, but we do have a loss remover. That puts him down to 130 hit points, but we don't have a second attacker. stinks but I think what we have to do is hit for the 70 damage here and uh, try and get some magic here off this next sage's training Cleffa will be an easy prize for me later so we'll just hurricane, and we'll drop lightning back to Tynamo. So he's got an interesting decision. Needs to catch up in this prizes. Neither one of us are that set up anymore. He does have more attackers than me, which is super helpful for him. Man. This is a tough, tough, tough match. This is the most competitive match I've played today, for sure. Definitely wasn't expecting the Don fan, and when you run all lightning Pokemon, it's definitely not what you want. So, Evilite, I do not believe works, unfortunately. Even though it says it works. I don't think it functionally works. Like, I'm pretty sure Kyrm still has 130 hit points, or at least that's the way Eviolite worked a few, a few hours ago. Bye-bye Juniper, bye-bye Plus Power. So I'm not sure if he ran. Wow. Twice in a row now, he got double heads on Dual Ball. So he is going to make me work for this win. A lot of big Pokemon out. I'm going to have to take two of them down into Cleffa or hit this damaged Cobalion, which now has more hit points than ever. So he is going to go after the Tynamo. And that will cost... That will make me... So let's do some math. 
So he 5, 6, 7, 8. Leaves him with 40, 50, 60. So I will be able to knock this out, no problem. It's time to sage. Do I want a Thunderous, or do I want to try for Zekrom again? That's the question. So, Lost Remover could be the answer. No special energy except for the one I'm about to put in the discard pile, so mm, not terribly handy. I think we're going to take the junk arm, just give ourselves more options. So I'm going to lay down my Thunderous. Power it up before he knocks out one of my eels. And very easy choice here. We're gonna save this for our last prize in theory. We'll see how that actually works. So at this point, I've effectively removed three of his special metal, special metal energies. I've got three in the discard. I can, in fact, power up a Zekrom in one turn which is terrific. Oh, he did have a double colorless. I'm not sure. So he's going to outrage here, or he's going to annoy me and bring something up that I don't want up, like an eel. But we're going to try and power up a Zekrom. Junk arm for a... Junk arm for a plus power. Make sure we have one. So the game's getting slow and weird on me. I do not actually think I have a plus power in my discard pile. Let's take a look. Lost remover, which would set him back on energy. And I have one, two plus power. So I think what we're gonna do here is collector for that Zekrom. We're going to power it up in one turn, and that's going to make it very easy to get our final prize. So five cards left, and let's power up a Zekrom in one turn. And we're going to test and see if Eviolite actually works. Which would be embarrassing if it didn't, um, but like I said, it didn't work a couple hours ago, so I don't think it is going to work now. Um, I could be wrong. So we're just going to go ahead and junk arm the electric. We don't need it, and we don't really need the sages, actually, because I can't use it, because I don't have enough cards left. So we're going to use the plus power. I'm going to torch my double colorless, and we'll see if I can bolt strike for the knockout here. Yep, so Eevee Light's not working. I don't know if my opponent knew that. I knew that. And uh, I can't see any way for him to win here, and neither can he. Um, so there we go, a really, really excellent match. Uh, two Noble Victory decks again. Um, my standard Electric deck, his Kiram, Don Fan, and uh, whatever else he had, Cobalion deck. Problem is, is without energy acceleration, um, I mean, that's a lot of Pokemon that need a lot of energy, and he just could not get the energy into play, never used a Glaciate, and uh, that's it. Good game.